Hey yo, what's up guys? It's Kai here for another After Effects tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be doing something different. Instead of doing a tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started on After Effects. Like, I saw myself before when I was editing. I was editing on Final Cut Pro X and then I saw that that wasn't doing that much good for me. So I decided to move to After Effects after. So from now on, every week, I'm going to be showing you step by steps on how to start syncing on After Effects like how to improve your flow and everything and today I'm just going to be showing the basics to you um, so first of all this is the clip that I got okay now as you can see on After Effects uh, you can't if you press uh, space then you will move to here and you know do anything like that and that's because on After Effects you have to press this button here it's called Brand Preview and if you press it yeah, so that's the only way you hear music, and that would be the same to music as well. So the only way you can hear it is by pressing this. Okay, now that's the first thing. Second, uh, these two little icons here. This is for the sound, you can turn it off and on from here. And this is for the video itself, you can turn it off and on here as well. So if you just want to keep the sound, turn off the audio, I mean turn off the uh, video. And then you have the sound, and if you want to do it that way around. You have a video with no sound. Okay, now that's the start. Now, next, uh, if you want to press both of these arrows, then you've got to transform. Now, this is for the position. And with this, you can move it around. You can move it up and down, left and right. Uh, so with this, you can rotate right, left, clockwise, and anti-clockwise. And this is for the opacity. So if you want to put it to like 50, that's down, that's up. Okay, now next I'm going to be showing you keyframes. Now these these are the keyframes for them. Oh yeah, and by the way, this you don't like really need. To be honest, you don't like really need to use anchor point. Okay, now these are the keyframes for them. Oh yeah, before that as well, this is for the audio as well. Like with this, you can turn the audio up and you can put it down. Now let's have a here, if you put it on 12. And then if you just want to put the audio down. See if you can't hear anything. Okay. Now these are the keyframes for them. So when you press this, you can see like a little diamond here. And then that's where you want the start of your keyframe to be. And if you just want to set a new keyframe, then all you have to do is just press this diamond here and that's a new keyframe for it. Now, for example, if I want to move this from like middle to right, what I do is go into position, put a keyframe at where I want it to start, and then move up a bit, and then just move this right. Um, and then as you can see slowly, that's moving. And that's the same for all the others as well. Like if you can see it goes down, it goes from small to the big. And that's, where, that's the same with all of these. Okay, now these are just like the position scale on their friend. Okay, next one I'm going to be telling you about is these bar here. Now with these, this is for. Uh, now with these, this is like the one that you be using the most or well, right now. Okay, now this is the uh, motion blur, and with this you can enable it. What basically motion blur does is if you move a clip from left to right, if you zoom it in or out, or anything like that. This will create an automatic blur for you. Now, let's just see, like, for example, if I want to make it from big to small. Okay, now what I want to do to enable the motion blur, first I press this. This enables the motion blur, then I go here and then tick this box. And that's, for, that's to enable it. And then you, if you look at it slowly, you can see that it creates a zoom. Like, can you see? Like a blur, it creates an automatic blur for it. I'll just move these in a bit more. As you can see, it creates an automatic blur for it. That becomes like really handy and that's really good. Okay, now that's just for these done. Now with these bar, like I said before, this is the round preview. With this, you can rewind the clip. So, for example, if I press this and then I re render it, it keeps on replaying. So that's me. If I want to pick something else. That one just goes back and then goes forward. But what you want to have yours on is loop basically most of the time. 
Okay. And then these you don't really need to touch. Oh yeah. For this, this is the resolution for the uh, actually not don't use that. This is the resolution for the clip. So you want like if you want it to be previewing on full, then you press on full. If you want it to be on half, then you press on half, but then third and quarter. Uh, what I advise you to do if you have a really fast PC, then play it on half. If you have a slow PC, then just obviously you play on quarter. But then, like, if you want to do it on full, then that's gonna slow. But half is probably the best one. Okay, now that's for all of them done. These you don't need. Oh okay, yeah, this this is how much of the clip you want to see. Yeah, so like that. But then, like, if you press this, you'll fit it onto the screen. Okay, now that that's done. Uh, next, I'm gonna be telling you about the layers. Uh, now, if you go on layer new and then here if you press adjustment layer adjustment layer is like basically it's a layer that you can put an effect on your clip and if you want it to be like if you want to take away oh this is really hard to explain it's better if i show you then it's like yeah so for example let me just create a, a flash quickly now this is what basically the adjustment layer does. Like say for example I wanna create a quick flash. Yeah. So that basically does it and then if you just want to take it away, all you have to do is just delete it. And then you still have the clip and then nothing like there will be no flashes on it. This is just like a layer over the clip where you put effects on. Yeah, that's the best way I can explain it. Okay, that's what adjustment layer does. Now, that's probably... Okay, now, shortcuts for the scale position and everything. P is for position. S for S is, of course, scale. R is for rotation. And then T is for uh, opacity. And if you want to have two of them at the same time, what you want to do, basically, is press one. Like, say, for example, if you want a position and scale, I press position. And the next one I want to do is hold shift and then press S and then like you can see you have both and if I want to do it if I add a, if I want to add another one you would hold shift and then press R. Yeah, so that's the shortcuts for that. Now that's basically all the shortcuts. Look at the preview inside of them. And then if you press B, that's where you want the preview to start. If you want to press N, that's where you want the preview to end. So just like that. Okay. Now that uh, those are out of the way, that's just the basics done for today. And uh, now I'm going to be showing you another easy like tutorial that you can do, and this is like one of the easiest one to do. Okay, okay. Now first, what we want to do is create a nice shakes to about a uh, few frames away from the net end of the clip. Now, if you want to. Uh, if you want the zoom to be really fast, obviously the keyframes have to be really close, but if you want it to be slow, then the keyframes have to be far apart. So let's press P, that's position and scale. Now these are the two things that you really need uh, for a nice zoom. Okay, now let's press a position keyframe here, and then move to about uh, here. And then actually move to the middle, drag this to here and then drag this to here now that creates a nice good shape okay now what you want to do is after the keyframe you want to move the frame and then press this for a new keyframe and then press the scale as well and then you want to go to the end of the clip zoom in and so that's good yeah and that's perfect basically Okay, the reason, now, let's do this again, now, the reason why I put another keyframe for the position is because, uh, let me show you, it's better if I show you instead, okay, say for example, I just put the keyframe here and then I put scale and then move to the end of the clip, zoomed in, and then move to the eye, like you can see it creates that thing there, I don't even know what that's called, and then if you look at it, look what it does. It moves it up and then it just messes about with the keyframes and everything. And you don't want to be doing that. 
so yeah that's for the zoom now afterwards as i said before you need to enable the motion blur for it and then now you can see it creates a nice zoom that you can see here here it creates a zoom and then it zooms in oops i found the right place right Yeah. And then now, as you can see that was a really slow zoom now if you want to like make it faster all you have to do is highlight these keyframes keep them in it's about here and then now let's look at it and this is about the faster zoom So I'll just move this to here. Oh. Now as you can see that was a smooth night zoom. Okay, now that's basically it for today. Now that's just the basic lesson lesson one out of the way. On the next one I'm gonna be showing you other transitions that you can do and I'm going to be showing you how to sync in uh, the clip with the music in the next tutorial uh, I hope you really enjoyed this and it was easy if there's anything that I can improve on just comment below uh, there will be a link to my article film as well on the description or if you want to just uh, ask for help and I'm not available you can just ask my student uh, his name is Yushu Patanya. I'll leave a description to his channel below as well. And um, till next time, peace.